Hi everybody, I'm Mike, and this is Project Zomboid, um, with our friend Kevin Thompson here. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to start putting stuff away, uh, because in the... Ooh, banana. Let's eat that for breakfast. Um, in the last episode, we um, had kind of a rough episode. Our man Kevin Thompson here got attacked by a couple of zombies and kind of got the crap beaten out of him. Um, so we didn't even get the chance to finish, um, looting that house at the end of the street. We went back and looted the house across the street from us. Got a bunch of good stuff, um, but nonetheless, um, we just kind of came here, dumped everything that needed to be refrigerated into the fridge, and called it a day. So, what we are doing here is, um... We are going and putting all, away all the stuff that we didn't get to yesterday. I'm going to put this tune in here. I don't know why I didn't. And we're going to start moving stuff like... What did I just do? We're going to start moving stuff that can hold water to our regular inventory. So we can, of course, fill it with water and then store it away. Fill the water bottle, of course. Fill the bowl. Fill the bowl. You can put yeah, I know that you're overburdened, and I'm real sorry about that. Fill the gardening spray can. I don't know that we can necessarily get, like, like that we can necessarily drink out of the spray can, but we can definitely use that uh, spray can water uh, to water plants and whatnot. So, let's move over to here. Um... I didn't work at all. There we go. These should be able to move over now. A couple of bowls of water. Our gardening spray can, of course. Uh, and the other bottle of water is already there. We can start putting away other stuff like sleeping tablets. Um, tissue. Anything else that we need in here? No? Let's put away the seed packets. Times two. There's nothing there. Over here, what we can start doing... Oh, we put the other garden spray can over here. Well, at least we know that. Box of nails. Candle, hammer, all those things can go here. Um, stuck in the kitchen knife, in all honesty. This lighter weighs practically nothing, can go over here. These cigarettes can go over here. Um, farming for beginners. Tell you what, I am going to go and move this over to my regular inventory. I'm going to equip this in both hands. Uh, I'm going to go drop this book off onto the bookshelf. I mean, for beginners. I don't think we have that one yet. It's good. I'm happy that we do that. Um, drop off this kitchen knife. There we go. Keep the painkillers on us for the time being, because that seems to be pretty handy. And all this other stuff can kind of stay with us, too. Um, let's grab something. Uh, okay. 
some pie and bring a little bit of chocolate with us as we do our thing. Okay, I uh, just want to check on my character's overall well-being here. Okay, his health is completely back to okay. Which makes me really, really happy because I was pretty worried there for a time. Um. Now, when we go back to this house, we know that it is infested with zombies. Or at least it was. Um, let's switch over to this. I suppose we'll grab a book. Alright, he set up the sneak attack and took out our zombie victim here. Uh, without too much trouble, which makes me pretty happy. Because we were having trouble dealing with those zombies for a little while. I'm gonna fill the water bottle. Because we forgot to have a drink before we left. And then we got thirsty. Okay. Let's go into here. It's a kid's playroom, it would seem. Fence carpentry! I'm not entirely sure why your kids are into advanced carpentry, but that's cool. I mean... Just because I wasn't into advanced carpentry when I was a kid doesn't mean that other kids aren't. Um... I'll grab the duffel bag because it's... I'd rather have that than the school bag. Um... There's nothing in that closet. Bath towels are totally useful. Wow. Antidepressants. That. Band-aid. Um, grab something to drink right here, too. And... Nobody to jump us here. Okay, looks like we took care of everyone the first time through which is pretty nice you grab this golf club I'm not overly concerned about the whole sweater bit because I mean getting sweaters is not something that's going to be difficult as we go around um, they're not hard to find I mean I'm pretty sure that we could probably find a couple of sweaters in our house. Ooh. Maybe the shed will have something interesting in it. Then again, maybe not. A lot of the time they don't. And this time is clearly no exception. Zombie. Shaking that ass. Okay, the baseball bat seems to be far more effective at laying a beat down on a zombie than a golf club is. Grab a couple of holes. That. Chips, chocolate, cooking pot. Dog food, empty mug. Should I be having a look around here? No. Grab all this stuff. 
Broccoli, chocolate. Grab another hammer. Not that I really super need it right now because I already have, I mean, two other hammers. But if for some reason I run low on weapons, I'll have this third hammer. Antidepressants. I'm gonna forego this other bath towel for the time being. Arming for intermediates, magazine and newspaper. Just in case we get bored for whatever reason. Although we've been keeping pretty active up to now. Not the dangerous part. Okay, there's nobody in here. I'm almost positive that there's somebody in the house, though. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't realize there were two people in this... in this room. Okay, got them both. Grab another golf club. Crates. Crates can be fantastic, but they can also be really useless. Suppose I can break them down. Come on now. Two bath towels? Nope. I'm good. Uh, we will go into our inventory here and grab and eat an apple. There we go. You are panicked. Maybe you. Should have a smoke. Probably said this before, but I will definitely say it again. If there were a zombie apocalypse, I would probably take on smoking again. Because I... I don't know, just a stressful, stressful situation. Like, I have no desire to smoke right now, but I can see what the appeal would be if, if I mean, especially if you're in this guy's situation. Well, there doesn't appear to be anybody left. Like, why wouldn't you? Hmm. I really want another golf club. I don't think so. Bowl, cabbage seeds, canned beans, dog food, infant mug. I don't need another kitchen knife, I don't think. Chips and some popcorn. Tea bag, sugar again. I don't know if it necessarily does anything. We'll grab this. Um, get beans in here. Eat. Let's eat some bread. Make some room. Fill the water bottle. Some drink. Yeah, yeah, we're tired. Oh, hey. Well, there's actually two people in here. Okay, 
you both seem to be corpses now. That's it's fine by me. I believe we are on the path home. Yep, we are on the path home. This is the house at the end of our street. And this is our house. So we picked up a lot of stuff. Um, let's go and put away some of the stuff that we know you aren't going to be using. Uh, double bag. Man, I'm losing the feeling in my hand. That's what happens when you get into these long recording sessions sometimes. Mind you, I've got just bad circulation from... Well, from a bunch of reasons, but... Uh, hammer. Good, good, good. Is there anything else in this? No. Everything in here is copacetic as well. Let's go and refrigerate some stuff. Um, some butter. Egg, butter, let's move quickly. Let's take the cooking pot out. Grapes, milk, strawberries. And I believe that is all the fresh stuff that we have to deal with. The cooking pot, again. Let's just put that there. Move these bowls to here. Some mugs. Okay, so I would really like to find an axe and a saw because we and more nails because we already have a hammer. We already have some nails. Um, it would be really nice to be able to um, put some of this stuff to use to be able to start, you know... Um, barricading off uh, various windows and making crates. Uh, I'd really like to be able to do that. Oh. Um, you are empty, so I guess this is the new water cabinet. Okay, well, that's, that's not bad. It means that we have a lot of water stored. I'm, I'm pleased about that. Okay, we're doing well. Go. He gets anxious at night, it would seem. I wonder if that's because we don't have stuff walled off. I mean, that would make sense. That's interesting. Band-aids. Bath towel. Oh, 
all this extra stuff is going to go in here. Boom. Yeah, he's really, really tired. I wonder... It makes you a little bit depressed, but whatever, we'll kind of have to with a little bit of chocolate. There we go. And we've eaten. So he's not anxious. Maybe he's just a smoker. Anyway, um, we are going to go to sleep. If you like this episode or you just want to support the series, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old like button. If you, um, yes, we want to go to sleep. If you, uh, haven't subscribed and you feel like that's something that you want to do, that button is down there as well. If you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. If you want to join me on Facebook, Steam, or Twitter, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description down below and bring it right to where you need to go. But I've been Mike, and you've been you, and this has been uh, Project Zomboid with uh, the ongoing adventures of Kevin Thompson. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!